Hi there. Now, I'm assuming you've been watching the previous videos in this series on integration by parts. And what I want to do in this video is show you how we go about using integration by parts when we're handling natural log functions. What we do is we always label the natural log function u. So with this example, the integral of x squared natural log of x, this would be the u. And this part here, in this example, x squared, is the dv by dx. So when it comes to integrating this, we've got u, first of all, according to the formula. So that's going to be the natural log of x multiplied by v, which is the integral of x squared. And if we integrate x squared, that's going to be x cubed over 3. And then it's minus the integral of v, which was this part here, so x cubed over 3. And then it's multiplied by the differential of u. Now, if we differentiate natural log of x with respect to x, that's going to be 1 over x. And then we integrate that all with respect to x. So next we need to simplify what we've got here. So we've got x cubed over 3. So x cubed over 3 multiplied by the natural log of x. It'll look much better that way around. And then we've got 1 third, which we can pull out the integral sign. And then we've got x cubed divided by x, which is just x squared. And we integrate that with respect to x. So if we now look at this integral here, we'll just write out the first term though. Okay, x cubed over 3 times the natural log of x. And then if we integrate x squared, that's going to be x cubed over 3 times it with the negative a third. And that's going to give us minus 1 ninth x cubed. And then we've got constant of integration plus c. So that's essentially it, but because we've got fractions in both terms, might as well pull out a lowest common multiple of 3 and 9, which is going to be 1 ninth. And we've also got a common factor here of x cubed, so it would look good if we just pull out x cubed over 9. So for this first term here, I'd need to times the 3 by 3 to get that 9, so times the top by 3, so you're going to get 3 times the natural log of x. And then for this last term, well, that's just going to be minus 1 and then plus c. Okay? Now, I've got this special case here, the natural log of x. It doesn't look like it ought to be integration by parts. But what we do is we say that this is exactly the same as the integral of 1 times the natural log of x. Okay, so we'll just put that one in brackets there. And so it's 1 times the natural log of x, and we're integrating with respect to x. So when we get this, we put the natural log of x then equal to u, and the 1 is dv by dx. Now you might want to pause the video at this stage and just carry on and give this a try. So I'll just give you a moment to do that if that's the case, okay? Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So what did you get? Well, according to the formula here then, we would put down natural log of x for u, okay? And then multiply it by the integral of dv by dx, which will be the v. So we're integrating the 1 here with respect to x just gives us x. Then it's minus the integral of v, which is now the x, multiplied by the differential of natural log of x. Okay, So that's going to be 1 over x. And we're integrating that with respect to x. So cleaning this up, we've got x times the natural log of x. And here, well, this be, these x's cancel, so you've just got minus the integral of 1 with respect to x. 
So if I just come down here, we'll just draw a line there. Then I'll copy back the integral, that is the integral of the natural log of x with respect to x. What we've got then is this first term, x times the natural log of x. And if we integrate 1 with respect to x, we just get x. And then plus the constant of integration. And you could factorise this out x as a common factor and you've got the natural log of x then minus 1 plus c. Okay? So I hope that's giving you some idea now then how you go about these types, okay, where you've got the natural log of x being multiplied by some function of x. And this special case here, always put your natural log function equal to u.